Hello, my queens. Okay, so for the next five weeks, we are going to be celebrating Broadway's biggest night, the Tony Awards, with our segment, Drama Queens, because get it. Um, we've got an amazing lineup of 2019 nominees, starting with Amber Gray from Town. Yeah. Hello. Hi there. I love this. I've been so excited to talk to you. Um, I wanted to start by reading this tweet from Ani DeFranco, who, mm. of course, just heard from. Uh, she tweeted this, Hades Town Broadway premiere last night was absolutely exquisite. Five full singer stars. Yeah, isn't yeah. that great? Yeah, awesome. Especially from her. Yeah. Um, well, also, congratulations. 14 total nominations mm -hmm. uh, for Hades Town, and you, of course, Best Featured Actress nomination. Exciting. Yeah. What, what did you guys do to celebrate? Uh, after the show that night, we went out onto the balcony and we sang a reprise of one of the main songs, Way Down Hades Town, with the audience. It's so great. And there's a flower symbol in the show. Uh -huh. We have extra flowers, and we just threw them down below, and okay. the audience caught them. Okay, I was along. about to say, I've seen people walking around the town with, with the yeah, yeah. flowers. Okay. They, they hand them out. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, for people who don't know um, the story of the myth that mm -hmm. Hades Town is with Orpheus, Eurydice, Persephone, all of my faves, uh, can you give them, give them a little tea <laughs> on that? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to know the myth. Okay. You know, um, you're not going to not understand okay. it if you don't know the myths, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, but the general sense is, you know, it's a time of economic depression mm -hmm. and people choose to go to Hades Town mm -hmm. where there is wealth and security and a job to have. Wow. Um, but once you go, you can't come back. So no one really knows what it's like there. Okay. It's just lots of rumors. Okay. And it's ultimately a, a place of slave labor. Wow. It's not pretty down there. Oof, oof. Yeah. Well, you, of course, yeah. played Persephone. Mm -hmm. uh, let, let's take a quick look. Yes. <laughs> Are we taking a look? Is it happening? I love it. Uh, what's it like playing Persephone? It's so fun. Mm -hmm. My, I mean, I've done four iterations of the show, and my arc now is a really good time. Somebody the other day mm -hmm. was like, you could go from the absurd mm -hmm. to the sublime. Ooh. And I think that's pretty accurate, okay. actually, because she's numbing herself the first half of the show. She's mm -hmm. in denial about what Hades Town has become. She's mm -hmm. drinking heavily. So there's lots of fun stuff to do okay. there. You know? Gives you a lot to work yes, with. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. and, um, and then she wakes up towards the end and has really beautiful sacred moments. I love that. Yeah. Sacred yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, something I love, this is your um, only your second Broadway show, mm. your first Tony nomination, so again, congratulations. Thank you. But you've been performing on stage for 15 years. Yeah. And, and before the break, we were talking about, like, listen, you're coming here this morning, yeah. you've got two wonderful kids, and doing a show, certainly on Broadway, is very demanding. Mm -hmm. um, what is it about the stage, though, that has kept you in it and loving it, I think, for 15 years? Yeah, it is... Uh, how raw it is. It's mm. live every night, which mm -hmm. I love, and mm -hmm. you get to, especially after having children, okay. I find it my daily meditation. It's the okay. only time in the day that I have this sort of singular event where I get to actually listen, mm. totally focus. see, yes, mm -hmm. in a way mm -hmm. that I'm always multitasking a little bit spacey in mm -hmm. the rest of my life. Yeah. Um, again, sacred comes to mind. Okay. It is like my meditative moment of the I day. love that. I mean, yeah. I, to be honest, I feel that way about hosting the yeah. show. Like when, we're, when we're doing the segments, I'm like, in that moment, I have one thing to do, which yeah. is to engage another person, another story, and it's like the rest of the world kind of falls, falls away, away for a bit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, while I was reading about the show, obviously it has rightfully gotten so much praise from wonderful people. I was reading like Binge Basic the other day, was just praising it as well. Um, a critic at The Guardian. Uh, I don't know this person's uh, gender or what's going on, but I would say they lost their damn mind. Um, and they described your performance to that as a hoochie mama. Wow. Um, and rightfully, I mean, that is upsetting. <laughs> it is wild. <laughs> I had to sit with it. I was like, what? What is it? Where did... And so Natalie Walker, who's been on the show, tweeted this about it. Um, when a critic does not like something, I love, that's fine. Having opinions is their job. But seeing a man describe the sensitive work Amber Gray is doing in Hades Town as a hoochie mama... Di or this is like the full quote. Hoochie mama routine dialed up to 11... Wow. Mm -hmm. Makes me feel like we really need to talk about how we talk about women, mm -hmm. which is so true. Now, the critic apparently apologized and was like, I wasn't aware that calling someone a hoochie mama was right. rude. But, but how do you react to this? Because it is a part of the bigger system of, of misogyny. Wow. Um, <clears throat> I did not know that quote existed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's upsetting. It's mm -hmm. very upsetting. And it's not 
only how people speak of women, but okay. how critics speak of art in general, yes. you know, because art has to have an eggy phase in the middle when you're making something new. It's not pretty for a long mm -hmm. time, and mm -hmm. sometimes it never is, nor okay. should it be. And art should, is not made to please everyone. Right. So when critics talk about it in a way that just cuts it off at the knees right away, mm -hmm. I find it deeply upsetting. It's fine if you don't like it, but you don't need right. to try to convince other people not to like it. Right, right. Um, and that's and just, nasty. just nasty. I didn't know that. And, but, and yeah. I'm sorry, you know, but in, 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 as you said, like you're doing something sacred, yeah. you know, and you're offering something live. So, and, and unfortunately, this is sadly what so common that, that we see. Um, and, and the yeah. cast is also very diverse as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's part of it. So I just want to say, how do you, as we're all trying to like do what's sacred to us yeah. um, while the slings and arrows, how do you stay focused and, and, and go back to what you love about it? Staying present with the people on stage mm. every night, because mm -hmm. it really is that event, mm -hmm. a new each time. Mm. Um, I can't think about yeah. any of that stuff yeah you know i yeah. just have to let that go and i often don't read any of that stuff yeah uh, i get it so good for you know. well let's talk about more about what we yeah. do love with this show <laughs> <laughs> what is it like bringing the story to life with the cast because like it's on to find nerdy. like you know i think when people think of broadway they may not think of folk and folk sure. singers but that is kind of an element of yeah, it yeah. absolutely um there are lots of jazz influences mm -hmm. new orleans influences right. folk um, it's not a typical sound that you hear on the okay. which I think is very exciting. Mm -hmm. And the music alone, like we enter the space as the actors and as the band members, mm -hmm. uh, and we say all right together before we even mm -hmm. start the show. And okay. it's sort of this moment where the 20 of us are mm -hmm. going to now tell a story through music. Mm -hmm. And um, that's always the way in, that the mm -hmm. music is so fun to sing. Mm -hmm. But that's sort of what turns you on into starting to tell the story every night. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well, Amber, congratulations. Thank you. You're telling a beautiful story in a troubling time. Yes. So we need these beautiful yeah. stories, you know, yeah. and you and your castmates, I'm sure, are going to have a really good June. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing. Hope so so. Thanks, yeah. wish you the best. Break a leg tonight. Thank you. Break a leg tonight, guys. So. Hades Town, of course, just opened up a new block of tickets, so you don't want to miss it. So, um, okay, we're going to run and go get tickets, run to our computers. Uh, next week, with our Drama Queen segments, we'll have another Tony nominee as we build up to Broadway's biggest night. We're just going to continue to be Broadway nerds and I'm living for it. 